Desmond Herbert Carrington was a British actor and broadcaster, best known for his weekly evening show, The Music Goes Round, on BBC Radio 2. His show aired for 35 years, from 1981 until his final broadcast on 28 October 2016. He appeared in such films as Calamity the Cow and also acted on TV, where he became known for his role as Dr. Anderson Indiana Emergency, question mark, Ward 10. He was born in Bromley, Kent, England and lived in Perth, Scotland. Career Carrington's first professional stage appearance was in 1942, when he played Cockney schoolboy Roberts in a stage adaptation of James Hilton's novella Goodbye, Mr. Chips at the Theatre Royal, Nottingham with Noel Johnson, as Mr. Chips, question mark, Johnson was the radio voice of Dick Barton. He returned to the UK a few years later and worked as a radio producer and acted on TV, where he became known for his role as Dr. Anderson Indiana Emergency, question mark, Ward 10. In 1949 he appeared as Ken in The People at No. 19 a short public information film warning of the potentially tragic effects of venereal disease on family life. Carrington's radio show on BBC Radio 2 entitled All Time Greats began on 4 October 1981. It was broadcast for two hours every Sunday from 1 p.m. Although initially pre-recorded and broadcast from a BBC studio, his first live broadcast from his home in Perthshire was on 31 August 1997. This was the day that Diana, Princess of Wales, died and Carrington agreed that it would be inappropriate to use the pre-recorded show on that day. Honours He was awarded the Gold Badge of Merit in 1989 by the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors. Retirement Desmond has made a huge contribution to BBC Radio as part of his remarkable 70-year career. He is a natural broadcaster who exudes great charm, and his weekly program brings joy to listeners both at home and around the world. On behalf of everyone at Radio 2, the BBC and all of his millions of listeners, I'd like to thank him for his incredible service and wish him well. Death Carrington died on 1 February 2017 at the age of 90. His death was announced on BBC Radio 2's Joe Wiley show and it was stated that he had been diagnosed with both cancer and Alzheimer's disease. His partner and producer Dave Aylott said he had died peacefully.